Is Boeing's history of safety more tarnished than we think? Boeing's story began over a century ago, a tale of ambition and innovation that catapulted it to become one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturers. This behemoth of the skies has always been synonymous with safety and cutting-edge technology. Its aircraft, such as the iconic 747, have been hailed as marvels of modern engineering, yet beneath this illustrious history there's a darker narrative that has been gradually unfolding. Over the years, a series of incidents have raised questions about Boeing's safety record. There have been lawsuits aplenty, from product defects to allegations of corporate misconduct. Victims seeking compensation, shareholders demanding accountability, and regulators imposing penalties have all had their day in court with Boeing. One of the most notable cases revolves around the 737 MAX crashes, a chilling chapter in Boeing's Chronicle. The 737 MAX, a promising jet that ended up in disaster. This statement could not be more accurate when we delve into the unfortunate circumstances that surrounded the 737 MAX crashes and the subsequent grounding of the fleet worldwide. In October of 2018, Lion Air Flight 610 took off from Jakarta, Indonesia. A mere 13 minutes into the flight, the plane nosedived into the Java Sea, claiming the lives of all 189 passengers and crew on board. Just five months later, in March of 2019, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 met a similar fate, crashing six minutes after takeoff and ending 257 lives. These weren't just random accidents. Both crashes were linked to a common cause, the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCS, a software system designed to automatically adjust the aircraft's angle of attack to prevent stalls. However, in both crashes, the MCS received faulty sensor data, causing it to force the nose of the aircraft downwards, leading to an unrecoverable dive. But the faulty MCAS wasn't the sole culprit. The pilots, despite their best efforts, could not override the system's commands. This points to a serious lapse in training. The pilots were inadequately prepared to handle a malfunctioning MCAS, a damning indictment of Boeing's training protocols. The aftermath was immediate and severe. The entire 737 MAX fleet consisting of hundreds of aircraft was grounded worldwide. This unprecedented move was a clear testament to the gravity of the situation. Lawsuits soon followed, with victims' families, airlines and shareholders taking Boeing to court, seeking compensation for the tragedies and the financial losses. These crashes and the subsequent fallout exposed a deeper malaise within Boeing. It raised serious questions about the safety culture at the world's largest aerospace company and its oversight of critical systems like the MCAS. The 737 MAX was just the tip of the iceberg as more unsettling revelations were on the horizon. The crashes were a grim reminder that safety must always be paramount in aviation, a lesson that came at a terrible cost. As if the crashes were not enough, Boeing's troubles were far from over. Enter John Barnett, a whistleblower who blew the lid off some unsettling practices at Boeing. Barnett, a former quality control manager, alleged that Boeing was using old and potentially defective parts in their new planes. This wasn't just a small oversight, we're talking about hundreds of substandard parts potentially compromising the safety of thousands of passengers. These allegations were a shocking revelation, even for a company already under intense scrutiny. Lawsuits quickly followed, with plaintiffs ranging from shareholders to the families of crash victims. The allegations painted a picture of a corporation prioritizing profits over safety, a devastating blow to a company whose reputation was already on the ropes. The impact on Boeing's reputation was profound. Trust, once lost, is hard to regain, and for Boeing this was another steep hill to climb. The aviation industry is built on safety, and any hint of compromising that safety can have far-reaching consequences. But what was even more concerning was what these allegations hinted at. A corporate culture that allowed such practices to occur. When the very culture of a company is called into question, it's not just about fixing a faulty system or replacing a defective part. It's about a complete overhaul, a fundamental change in the way things are done. Boeing's problems were not just technical, but deeply rooted in its corporate culture. Boeing's safety record was under fire, but the flames of controversy were yet to be doused. 
Following the tragic incidents and whistleblower allegations, the fallout was nothing short of catastrophic. Boeing found itself embroiled in a maelstrom of regulatory scrutiny and lawsuits, with charges of corporate negligence and mismanagement at the forefront. The spotlight was harsh, and under its glare, the company's practices were laid bare for all to see. The Federal Aviation Administration, alongside other international aviation authorities, began to dissect Boeing's safety procedures with a fine-toothed comb. They uncovered a culture that seemed to prioritize speed and cost-saving over safety, a revelation that shook the industry to its core. In the courts, Boeing faced a wave of lawsuits. Families of the victims sought recompense for their immeasurable loss. Shareholders demanded answers, and regulatory bodies sought penalties. The legal battles were numerous and complex, involving claims of product defects, crashes, and corporate misconduct. In the midst of this turmoil, Boeing's rivalry with Airbus took center stage. The fierce competition between these two giants of the aviation industry had always been intense, but now it was under scrutiny like never before. Some argued that this rivalry had pushed Boeing to rush the 737 MAX into service, compromising safety in the process. As the legal and regulatory fallout unfolded, the company was forced to make substantial changes to its practices. The focus shifted from speed and cost efficiency back to where it should have always been, on safety. The ripple effect was felt across the industry, leading to increased regulatory scrutiny and a renewed emphasis on safety in aviation. The story of Boeing serves as a stark reminder of the crucial balance between innovation and safety. It underscores the responsibility that corporations have, not just to their shareholders, but to the people who entrust their lives to their products every day. The story of Boeing is a stark reminder that safety should never be compromised for speed or profit.